There's no question that Thailand does have somewhat of a reputation. An epicenter for finding a good party, some of the best nightclubs in the world, and all the drinks you can drink. But is this reputation well earned? Does Thailand have other things to offer? Are there things about Thailand's reputation that are just flat not true? I'm Ian, you are watching Tempest TV. Let's get down to the bottom of it. Now, not only when it comes to nightlife and partying, there are a few other things that I've noticed that Thailand does seem to have somewhat of a reputation for. So I've chosen a few today that I have seen online, and we're gonna talk about whether I think those are true or not. Now for this first one, even though I see the trend kind of going back in the other direction, there's still a sense sometimes in some online communities that Thailand is a third world underdeveloped country. Now with a lot of these things that we talk about here today, there will be at least some truth to a lot of them. But in regards to Thailand being a third world underdeveloped country, it's really far from that in my opinion. Now this one I would say it's not really even up for discussion in the big cities, but even out in the more rural areas, I'd be very hard pressed to find any real truth in that. Now the way of life in Thailand may be drastically different than what we're used to in the West, but that doesn't really make the situation third world to me as there aren't really any amenities or infrastructure that we have in the West that can't be found in Thailand. When I had first gotten here, I was getting asked all the time about whether I felt safe or not. And now, although I can only speak to my own experience, I've felt much safer in Thailand than I did in a lot of places in America. Even with this though, there are still some places online where you can see people mentioning how dangerous Thailand is. But from what I've seen, and my personal experiences, that's not the case at all. Every place has good and bad people, of course, but from what I've seen, it's much harder to run into those bad individuals in Thailand. Now, I know for a fact that theft is less common. You can leave packages outside your door. You can leave your bike park relatively anywhere and not have to worry about it for the most part. And substance abuse seems to be a lot more minuscule here, not to say that it doesn't exist, but it's much more behind closed doors and isn't really out in your face everywhere. So that alone makes Thailand in its entirety much safer than a lot of places in America despite some things that you might read online. Now, I didn't notice until I had spent some time here, but there's definitely a narrative out there about Thailand just being a place, you know, a haven for creepy old men to retire and do whatever. Yes, it's completely true that a lot of people choose Thailand as a retirement option, and I would wager that at least some of those people are creeps. But of course, it's not exclusively only that group of people that choose to come here. Tons of digital nomads, backpackers, young families, you name it, and they all come to Thailand for vacations or to move here as expats. There are for sure certain places in Thailand that might be better or worse for meeting certain types of people, but this whole narrative that Thailand is only, you know, old creepy men is just not true. What I get asked about the most, and a huge majority of the video content that goes out about Thailand seems to be usually about one thing, and that's the women. Now there is somewhat of a narrative that Thailand is only known for that one specific industry, if you know what I'm talking about, and that almost every Thai person is involved in that some way or the other, and that everyone who comes to Thailand, that's all they're interested in. Now this isn't true in the sense that it's just not so black and white on both sides of it. Is that industry prominent here? Yes. Will you meet plenty of people either working or partaking in that part of Thailand? 
Absolutely. But of course, nothing in life is so black and white. Everyone in Thailand has their opinions just like everywhere else. What I will say is if you're interested in Thailand, but not interested in that part of Thailand, you don't have anything to worry about. And maybe the biggest narrative out there about Thailand that is true in a sense, but once again, it's not so black and white. And that is that Thailand is just one big party country. Essentially saying if you're coming to Thailand and you don't party, you're pretty much wasting your time might be the most contrasting difference between the narrative and the truth that we're going to talk about today. And that is that there's a whole other side of Thailand once you get out of the bars and clubs. If you have any interest in the outdoors, cultural history, motorsports, this list goes on. If you have any interests about things other than partying, if you're worried that, you know, maybe you're wasting your time coming to Thailand because you don't party a lot or at all for that matter, there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Thailand has a whole lot going on besides the clubs. Now, if you're reading up on Thailand at all, you're sure to see tons of situations talking about how friendly and nice Thai people are. And in my time here, I've definitely seen that to be true, but there's something that can come with this sometimes that I think it's really important for people to understand. And this really isn't a narrative that's right or wrong, but this is a narrative that might lead some people to think about the situation in the wrong way. And that is, well, yes, Thai people are nice and friendly. Some people see that and I think they assume that that means, you know, Thai people are passive or you know not willing to stick up for themselves and that really couldn't be farther from the truth for the majority of Thais. Now once you spend some time here and compare some of the things that you see to the history of Thailand being a bunch of people that aren't afraid to stand up for themselves will just say that and this really stands in all parts of Thailand. It's not really just you know the interactions you have with people in person it's all the way across the board conflict or you know butting heads don't think that because Thai people are so nice. I know especially in America too, sometimes certain groups of people will attribute being nice to being weak, and that is not the case for Thai people. The truth of the matter is the internet can be very good at helping us to create these images or these ideas of how places or people might be, and when you get there and experience it for yourself, it is not like that. And that can be really easy to do, especially when you're watching YouTube, Instagram videos. You see the majority of the time, you see all the good stuff, you hear the positive or the opposite, or you hear the negative. It's rare that you hear both sides of it. If you've spent some time in Thailand and there are any narratives out there that you might've thought about before you got here and once you did, they, you realized they were kind of just not true or just different in whatever sense, feel free to drop down in the comments. Let us all know that is always an open discussion. If you've made it this far in the video and you enjoyed it, please feel free to go down and give that like button a little tickle. It helps us get these videos in front of more like-minded individuals just like yourself. And as always, thank you for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.